What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Tonight we're going to be doing low light testing again. I did say tonight because the sun is currently going down. We are going to be doing ammo testing for our 10 millimeter ammo test series and we're going to be testing numbers 6 through 10. Number, starting at number 6 and going through number 10, we had 140 grain extreme penetrators from Underwood. Then we moved to Liberty Overwatch. I believe that's a 70 grain projectile. That's a new ammunition from Liberty. After that, we went to XTPs. 180 grain and that was from underwood after that we went to 200 grain hard cast i believe from underwood and after that we went to critical duty 175 grain flex lock from hornady so those ammos right now are going to get tested in that order through the springfield xdm elite 3.8 inch when the sun goes down just a little bit more we're going to start with two shots first of just some hand loads with tight group shooting 180 grain full metal jackets no big deal just to get the gun kind of warmed up and show you guys what just a basic hand load flash might be like. Now the reason we do this type of testing is to see what it would be like if we had to discharge our firearm at night, in the dark, whatever, something like that. And also because sometimes companies say that in their defensive ammunition they use flash suppressant powders. So that could be a really good thing if it actually works. We want to see if it works. Now we're using a shorter barreled firearm for 10 millimeter. But most people are going to be carrying something like this 3.8 inch or a 5 inch at the maximum. Most people aren't going to really be packing around the Glock 40s or any of the 6 inch 1911s. That's just usually. So we're going to go with this and we might have a little bit of incomplete powder burn, but I still think we're going to get the picture. The last test we did, take a look at that one, was really informative. One of those ammunitions out of that group really performed totally different than the other ones, but they all did produce a flash at night. Underwood is known to have the flash suppressant powders. Let's see what happens. Like I said, these first two are just going to be hand loads with tight group. All right, now these next ones should be Underwood Extreme Penetrator 140 grain. That significantly increased the recoil and the flash. Now these next ones, this should be the Liberty Overwatch. <laughs> After that, I believe we go to Underwood XTP 180 grain. And after that, we should be at the hard cast from Underwood. <laughs> now we should be at critical duty. That one seemed to have two different types of flash from my perspective, but they all produced a flash, so you're going to get to see the still frames of it, but I think it's always interesting testing. You know what they're going to look like. So if these are using flash suppressant powders, then that's what it's just doing is suppressing a little bit. It's definitely not flash free. Hope you enjoyed this kind of testing. Hope you enjoyed this video, and until we see you next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep shooting.